So we're back on the banks, we're back on the drains doing some more pike fishing. This is, believe it or not, going to be my third day on here. We did a 48 hour session on this drain and we had some nice fish. We had one small one and then we managed to get an absolute monster of a pike in the second 24 hours of the session. Now I thought, you know what, on my last video I was talking about shall I stay, shall I try a different venue and I'm going to stay put. So we've got a 24 hour session on the drains. So far, these sessions, everyone I've done so far, we've had a 20, a nice size one. So I'm hoping and praying that this next 24 hours, we can get amongst some big pike again. Now, they're a difficult venue, you know, I'm not gonna guarantee anything. This might even be a blank, or we might even only just manage to get one small pike, but perseverance normally pays off. So I'm hoping that we might be able to get amongst some big fish. So the last session, we had a small one. We had a nice 20. The previous session to that, we had another 20. So at the moment, the session is going really well on these drains, you know, location, big fish coming through, they're on the move and it's prime for another big fish. So we've got 24 hours. Can we get one out of the bag? I don't really know. I'm going to hope and pray. But yeah, it's about nine, half past nine in the morning. So we've got loads of time left. I'm going to be here till probably 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and then I'm going to call it a day and that'll be my three day stint on here and then I'll be done for a while. I've just cast the rods out, put fresh baits on them and I'm now just basically ready for getting this kettle on, having the first cup of the day and then we'll basically go from there. Not a bad looking fish though. Fasty as anything, like all these pike are. All right, come on mate, let's be having you. And that rod's been out there for probably, I don't know, half an hour. That's the one, mate. Lovely. So we've got fish number one. Lovely little pike there. And yeah, I'm over the moon. The morning barts on here have been few and far between, to be honest, we've had absolutely nothing. And I always find that the afternoon times from the past few sessions have been really productive. So I'm hoping that maybe today it might be a little bit up and down, you know, catching them left, right and centre, that would be nice. But like I say, the previous sessions, it's just been afternoon bites. But this fasty little fella gave a right good scrap. And yeah, not covered in leeches, so he's been moving about these drains. And all I can say is I'm over the moon. It's always nice to get an early morning bite. You know, it puts you in good stead for the rest of the day. So what I'll do, I'll get this little fella back, get them rigs baited up and cast out, and then hopefully we'll cross his fingers for another pike. But yeah, what a lovely pike. Right, back you go, fella. What a lovely, lovely pike. Back you go, mate. Beautiful. We've just had a knock on the left hand rod again, which tells me that there's a few pike in these margins. So let's have a look, see if we've, what we've got. Yep, fish on. And it feels like a little babber, I think. Oh. Yeah, only another small one, but very welcome. Nice morning bites. This is what we like to see. This left-hand side of the swim is doing the business at the moment. The other rods have been really quiet. Oh, he's only just upped. Come on, little fella. Let's be having you. Not a huge pike, but very, very welcome. Come on, mate. Let's be having you. Only a babber. So it's been probably 20 minutes since the last fish. Left-hand rod again. That margin is doing the business at the moment. Seems to be getting quite a few coming through. And this is another faster little pike. So I'll quickly shave this little fella. Beautiful markings, absolutely gorgeous. Really nice fish. These fennons are, you know, they remind me of the Trent Park, they really do. So that is fish number two. You know, it's giving me a lot of encouragement getting these two bites early morning. Like I said, previous sessions, we had absolutely nothing. But that little fella, I mean, what a pleasure to be out on the drains fishing for stunning fish like this, it really is. And yeah, that left hand margin, it might produce a big part later. I'd be, you know, I'd be 50-50 on getting a few more from there. But at the moment, I can't complain, I really can't. Two fish in the bag, it's not even midday yet. So we'll get this little fella back, get some more bait out there. I might chop a few pieces of fish up as well, chum the area and on the float, and then we'll give it a bash. But I mean, these fish are absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the colors of them. They're absolutely gorgeous, they really are. So we'll get this beautiful little creature back and then we'll see if we can get any more in the bag. Right, little fella. Back you go. That's the one. Lovely. It's literally like a mosh pit down here at the moment, it really is. 
everything is just caked in mud. But we're catching and that's the main thing. Don't want to sound ungrateful. Two in the bag, happy days. It's 11 o'clock now, so time's slowly ticking on. We've got two under his belt. We had a bit of an occurrence on the middle rod. I mean, that might have been an eel for all I know because I didn't see huge amounts of teeth marks on the fish. But at the moment, it seems the pike, from what I can see at the moment, they're traveling tight to this marginal line. And that is why I stagger my baits all over, whether it's a river, a drain, I want to know where the fish are coming through. And at the moment, from what I can see, they're coming tight to this marginal line. So, fingers crossed we can get a few more in the bag. At the moment, it's looking bang on. And if we start catching a lot of small fish throughout the day, <laughs> and I've said this before, there's every chance that a big pike might come through the swim and we catch one. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and if the planets align, like they have been doing for these past few sessions, there's every chance of another big pike. And if there is, I mean, I'll be, I'll be over the moon, I really will. I mean, the sessions I've done so far have been absolutely bang on, we've had some nice fish, so you never know what's around the corner. These drains, they can be cruel and they can be kind. And at the moment, they've been kind to us. But now I think it's time for another cuppa. I've just done a recast on all the rods. So yeah, it's just time to cross us fingers to get another fish in the bag. Yeah, fish on. They've been really picky these past few days dropping the bait, so let it go a little bit. Oh, that's a nice looking pike. Not too bad. Oh, a feisty one as well. Oh. I don't know if it's a big fish or not, to be honest. Really difficult to see in this dark, murky water. What have we got here? Let's have a look. Not too bad. Not a monster, but very welcome. So hopefully this will be fish number three. And he's only just tucked in the scissors as well, which is a clear indication on these pressured waters. I mean, yeah, look, you can just, just see he's hooked on the side. Lovely. Right, so we've got fish number three. That's a lovely looking pike. Third one of the day. It's about maybe half past 12, one o'clock, something like that. I always lose track of time when I'm doing these videos. And that, that's a beautiful pike, really nice. Lovely markings. Reminds me of the old Trent pike that does and that is very, very welcome. And the afternoon bites, I'm hoping now, will come through and we can get a few in the bag and it would be nice. And it's always nice to imagine a big gill grace in his net. But yeah, look at that. What a lovely, lovely Fenland pike. They are absolutely gorgeous, they really are. And this scrapper, I think it gave more of a fight in the landing net than it did when I was putting it in the drain. But at the moment, yeah, I couldn't have asked for any more. So far, so good. We've got three in the bag and some nice looking ones as well. So I'll get this one back, get that baited out there and then hopefully we can get some in the bag. But that left hand margin rod is doing all the bites so far. So fingers crossed we can get some more later. You know, we've got the rest of this afternoon, tonight, till tomorrow morning. So hopefully we can get a few in the bag. But yeah, what a lovely, lovely pike. That's the one. Lovely. Well, I've literally just put that fish back and we have got a knock on the float rod. So let's have a look what we have got. Yeah, fish number four. Don't know if it's a big fish, it doesn't feel big at the moment. Right, mate. Yeah, only a small fella. Come on, mate, let's be having you. Oh. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, so we've got fish number four, this is, I think. I was putting that fish back and literally, I got to the top of the bank and then the float went off. And yeah, gave a really good fight. A lot of these fish, this one's got quite a few leeches on it, so you can tell that they're all waking up now. They're quite lethargic when you're fighting them compared to how they normally behave, especially in autumn time. And yeah, it's all to do with the conditions and that. So I'll quickly show you this fella. So yeah, afternoon bites it is, by the sound of it. But yeah, lovely looking pike, feisty one. All right, little fella, let's be having a look at you. I mean, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous, these fenny pike are. And that little fella is probably the fastest pike I think I've caught like this terrain. Just wouldn't stop. He even gave me a bit of aggro in the landing there as well when I was trying to rest him. But I mean, look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful creature it really is. So that's four under his belt. We've still got a good two or three hours left of daylight. Then it's the witching hour for the big pike. And then, yeah, just cross his fingers that we can get some more in the bag. But yeah, what a lovely, lovely fish. Other way, mate. That's the one. Lovely. 
So we're coming up to about quarter past four. I think we've got probably three quarters of an hour, maybe an hour before it starts to get dark and the witching hour kicks in and hopefully we'll get a few big fish coming through this swim. The past few hours have been really quiet, but I can't complain with what we've had so far. You know, we had four nice fish, but it would be nice for a big girl tonight. It really would. Now, I've done probably about 12 recasts over the past three hours. They're running the drain off at the moment and the levels are slowly going down and the debris is just coming through like mad. So it's going to be a very uneventful few hours, I think, to be honest, because I'm just having to recast every five minutes. So the plan of attack is tonight, I'm going to fish two rods like I normally would do, bring the float in, obviously, and then I'm going to fish them really tight to the margin and hopefully avoid the debris that's coming through. Normally they stop running these drains off around this time of the day and they'll be running all the way through the night normally. I think it was yesterday or the day before they were running it all, all day long because we'd had quite a lot of rain. So hopefully we won't get too many problems if I'm fishing really tight to these margins. And believe it or not, all the big pike I've had have been in the margins anyway. So I'm not too fussed about having baits in the middle of the, of the drain, if you like. I know I'm in good stead in the margins. Big pike, loads of cover, and I can just see them coming up and down here. And it's just now the case of hoping that we can get some more in the bag. So yeah, we've got one hour before darkness. I'm going to be here till I think tomorrow morning about 10 o'clock. And then that's my, my time done on here for a while. I'll probably have a couple of week break maybe. And then return and try and get some more pike. But all the big pike in here, the sort of mid to upper 20s, they'll be over 30 pound by sort of beginning of March. So I've got to have my wits about me where I'm going to try and get a 30 pounder by the end of the season. So yeah, fingers crossed we can get something in the bag. So I think it's time for a bit of evening food. I'll probably do probably two or three recasts by the time it gets dark with the debris coming through. But we'll go from there and just see how it all pans out. But it looks good for a bite, it really does. Good morning, and it is about eight o'clock. Just starting to get light, and last night was very quiet. It was fairly cold night, to be honest, and we did have a bit of rain, but it was pretty much textbook for these drains. No fish, and absolutely dead. And what I've noticed over the past couple of days, when we've been on here, that feeding spell between sort of one o'clock till about five o'clock, it seems that that's when the fish are coming through and they're on the feed. So I'm here now for probably three hours, maybe four, I'll shoot from probably about 11 o'clock, call it a day. We've been here for three days now, and to be honest, it feels like a lifetime, it really does. Anything over sort of the eight hour period, I'm getting itchy feet and I wanna be moving to different parts of the drains. However, to be honest, these sessions that I've done, this three day session has been a case of, I'll just wait for the fish to come to me and just hope that, you know, a few come through. And we've got lucky, you know, we've had a few fish, we've had some nice ones. But a decent sized one, which is always nice. And yeah, that egg meter is down for another 24 hours. Now, sometimes it can pay off. You can do really well. You can either catch a load of fish, you can catch a big fish, or you can blank. And on this occasion, we caught quite a few fish yesterday, which was nice. So we've got probably four hours left. Can we get a big girl out of the bag? I mean, it's morning time. It's prime time for catching a big pike. It really is. It's been all in all a fairly good session. So I think the plan now is I'm gonna get the kettle on Mecca Brew and then we'll basically go from there. But it would be nice for another decent sized pike. Will we catch one or not? Who knows, you never know what's around the corner. Well, I mean, the drain is looking absolutely beautiful this morning. It really is. And the levels have gone down probably another 10 inches from this morning. Well, from half an hour ago when we had a look. It really does look good for a bite, it really does. But the one thing about these drains you just never know what's around the corner. There's more of a mystery than anything on here. There really is. I've spoken to anglers that have fished these over the years. And you know, every now and again it throws up a big fish. A really, you know, a really big fish. But you just, <laughs> you just never know what's around the corner. You know, there could be a 30 pounder five mile away. Or there could be a 30 pounder tucked away down here. Just on the prowl looking for some food. You just never really know. But I've literally got probably 15 minutes left of footage on the actual memory card so I'm running extremely low and we've probably got an hour's worth of battery life on everything so yeah can we get an elusive monster 
Only time will tell. Right, so we've just had a knock on the float. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. Let's see what we have got. Oh yeah, fish on. Fish on. Don't know if it's a big fish or... Don't feel it. Let's have a look what we got. <laughs> and believe it or not, this is the bait where it had been out all night. One of the older baits. So it just goes to show, even if your bait's not fresh, they'll still take it. Yeah, only a small one, fairly small, but very, very welcome. Right, mate, let's be getting you in. It's a feisty one, I'll give him that. Come on, little fella. Let's be having you. Come on, mate. We've nearly got you. We've got you. Yeah, nice little pike. That is, I mean, that's a beautiful pike. Look at the markings on them. They're absolutely gorgeous, they really are. And yeah, I'm over the moon, so first one of the day. I've had plenty of these past few days. We really have. It's been really nice. Nice, consistent action. The first day we was here, it was really quiet, but you know, to get a morning bite, it's always puts you in good stead for the rest of the session. And we've got a few hours left, so hopefully we can get a few more in the bag. But either way, it's been a banging session and we've had a really good time on these drains. So what I'm going to do, get a fresh rig on there. I'm actually using old bait now. This was caught on a sardine that's been out there for probably 12 hours. So it just goes to show sometimes whether you put oil in your baits or you put attractors, a good old fashioned dead bait that's mangled up normally does the business. And if these pike are hungry, they will eat just about anything. So we'll get him back and we'll try and get a few more in the bag before we leave. Yeah, there we go, let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, beautiful. Oh. Fasty one this is. <laughs> oh, this has got to be a small pike. <laughs> it's got to be a little tiddler. The way he's scrapping, it feels like I'm playing a tench. <laughs> oh no, it's come off. Oh no. Oh. Oh my days, never mind. That would have been nice to get that one in. I bet that was probably about a pound and a half, if that. Right, so, yeah. Let me check my bucket. I don't know if I've got half a mangled up fish. We'll have a look, but I think whatever I put on this trace, if there's a pike there, we might get one in the bag, to be fair. So I'll quickly check and then we'll have a look. What have we got? It's like a mosh pit on here. It's unbelievable. What have we got in here? So... We have got, I mean, I have done, I've done a full bag of sardine on there. I've done a full bag and there's another full bag wrapped up in there. Yeah, we've got, we've got one fish left and I didn't band it on obviously because of the state of it. But I mean, look at that. That is an absolute mess. It really is. It's from a session we did, well, a video. The first day I think we was here. So we'll try and use this one. But yeah, we've gone through so much bait, it's unbelievable. But, can't complain, you know. The results have been there, that's the main thing, so. I mean, the stench from these baits is unbelievable, it really is. Let's have a look. Right, so, plan of attack. Get this manky old bait up, bring it up. And then go from there. get it around right so I mean it's still covered in silt from when I had to bring all the baits in so but it seems there's a few fish moving through the central section of the drain so I can't complain right let's get this manky old thing rigged up one that I mean obviously the hooking points are just completely off so I'll literally just push it through there to hold that bit in place but I mean yeah that is just absolute mess it really is but these pike the hungry 
And bearing in mind, it wasn't overly long ago since we had that fish, so there's a few coming through. All right, let's get this one out. All right, that's perfect. Oh, well, that is the end of the session. It's been, it feels like I've been here for a lifetime, to be honest. We've been here for three, three days and a bit. And yeah, what can I say? We've had some lovely fish. We had a nice big pike, which was really, you know, such a bit of arson on the cake, to be honest. And it's been an absolute mega session. We've had plenty of fish. Some days have been quiet. Some days have been fairly productive, but it just goes to show, and I always say this, you've got to put the time and effort in and it's just keep coming back or spend as long as you can or if you can't spend much time doing it, you know, pre-bait, put the odds in your favour. But it takes a, it takes quite a while to, you know, get amongst some of these big pike. But you know, when the planets align, it all comes to fruitation and then you are, you're laughing and you've, you've caught what you're after. So the plan now is I've got absolutely loads of editing to do. So it's gonna take me quite a while to get these videos out. But I think the plan of attack now, I'm gonna do the odd session here, there and everywhere. But my main focus I think might be on this drain for a 30 it might well be if he's chucking out the old big fish here and there and you know i will go to all the drains as well but my primary focus might be on this one and it's it goes on for miles and miles so there's a lot of water to cover you know a lot of places to go and you know there's a lot of places for these pike to be so yeah i'm just going to try and do my best and hopefully put the odds in our favor of catching a 30. i can't seem to get a 30 out of the trend i really can't maybe an upper 20 but a 30 i think that'd be rare as rocking horse so yeah, that's the end of it. So, yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.